Hello, welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Uh, today we're looking at March 13, 2024's Slow Thermo by Clover. Who's Clover? Clover's one of our gas setters here at Gas HQ. Uh, I'm another setter, Bill Murphy. Hello, lovely to meet you if it's uh, your first time on the channel. Um, so, uh, we set a variant Sudoku. We make a new one every day and we post it here. Uh, you can find the link to this puzzle right underneath this video. You can give it a go yourself. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, say hi to Philip Newman when he's around, you know, um, give him a nice pat on the head and feed him a treat. That's what we like to do. Um, but, uh, with that being said, uh, you will also find the hat times beneath us. Uh, two hats is for a very fast time. One hat, uh, one party hat is for a pretty good time. And everyone can have a dinosaur. Um, today's one is a snoring sasaurus. Yeah, that feels about right. Um, but let's look at today's puzzle. Today's puzzle for March 13, 2024 is slow thermo. Um, normal Sudoku rules apply so in each box row and column we gotta put the digits one to nine once each cool um now uh digits along thermometers so that's what this thing is uh must either increase or stay the same starting from the round bulb as it goes towards the tip so as an example a thermometer could be two three uh three four um whereas a regular thermometer would have to be one two three four five cool all right that. let's get going um i'll just restart but i am gonna like explain it now um couple of things uh Okay, so if you've never seen a thermometer puzzle before, um, there's a couple things that we like to do. Uh, one, we can ask ourselves, hey, where does nine go? Uh, no, sorry, hang on. Where does one go in this box? Um, which is always a really neat trick to think about um, because one can never go on the end of a thermo. It could definitely never go on the next, uh, second last, and it can't go on the third last of a thermometer, so it must go there and there similarly where does nine go in this box well it can't go in the first two cells especially if we have more to go but it can go in the third cell so let's look at that now when we talk about thermometers we like to talk pencil marking now if you're a bit uh new to uh sudoku and a little bit uh unsure about what we do when we pencil mark things. Um, if you have like the little corner marks when you've done it with like, say the New York times, uh, you'll get either things where like here, we know where one's going to go. I'm going to put it in in a second. Um, but one must go there and nine must go there. Let's do that. Um, now, uh, so, uh, actually no no i'm gonna delete that because i want to explain pencil marking so the absolute lowest that this thermometer could be um would be this so one two three three could be the same three four five six seven eight now um the highest this could be is if this started with a nine which we can see it doesn't um the highest it could be is this. Uh, this is something we call degrees of freedom. There is one degree of free freedom on this thermo because there's only like one potential spot at which this could change. Now, this nine removes that whole degree of freedom from this thermometer. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three, two, one. Now, uh, this thermometer, we could pencil mark the absolute same, but this one has just removed uh, the one degree of freedom from down here. So we know that the lowest this can be is two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, which is perfect because we can't go any higher than that. Now, um, we can do a little bit more pencil marking, so let's do that. Oh, uh, no, we can actually just write to Tim, what am I doing? Uh, so, two and three, where do they go in this box? Well, we've got to put two and a three in there. We now have four, five, six, because it's a thermometer and we know that they need to ascend. This becomes four, five, six, uh, leaving seven and eight in here. Uh, and because, once again, they need to increase, this becomes seven and eight. Now, seven and eight, 
need to go in this box. So we can put seven and eight there. We have four, five, six left to place in box four. So we can go four, five, six. Now, uh, this digit needs to be higher than six, uh, or six or higher, but it can't be seven, eight or nine because we've already got that. So that must be six. Uh, now I need to place two and three because they need to increase along a thermometer. This is two, this is three. Now this digit needs to be higher than three. So it's four and that's five. Uh, so that is a significantly large portion of this puzzle done. We can finish rows uh, three and uh, seven by going, I need to place one, two, and nine here. Uh, one, two in column one, uh, two in column two, and a two there. Tells us how to do that. Uh, one uh, in box one rules one out of that cell. Now, uh, we can finish this one off here the same way, uh, one, nine, eight. Uh, we can't quite do any cool tricks with this one just yet, but we can do that. Um, and pentamark all of our options. Now, uh, two here does leave us with some very interesting choices. Now, if this is five, then what, go uh, actually I'll start with, if this is two, what is this? Um, the lowest this can be is one, two. Uh, and now if this is three, I can't put any digit less than three, uh, less than five on this thermometer that isn't five or uh, three, four, five. And because those two digits must increase from there, I know that that has to be one one and two. Now, I still don't quite know what that is. Um, I can tell it's not two. Um, and the reason why I can tell it's not two is because I have a one and a two here, which means I can't put a two there because there's no way for it to increase from zero. Sadly, th uh, they haven't figured out a way to make uh, Sudoku's do that yet, but I should. Three and nine left to place here, but how can this be nine? Because if this is nine, it needs to increase to three or five. So that breaks three, nine. Uh, this can no longer be three. Uh, three or five both work there. Now, I need to put a nine in uh, column five. So that's going to go there. And this is either two or eight, which is pretty nice because that's two, that's eight, that's one, that's four, uh, five, three, two. And then this is either, well, okay. So this is five and seven, and this is seven or eight. The only way that this uh, can either increase or stay the same is if this digit is seven and this digit is seven, which makes this an eight and this is five. Now we are just down to basic Sudoku. So uh, twos in this cell go there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, what have I got here? Uh, this has to be a nine, that's seven, five and six, six, seven, four, I'm just winding this up now. Five, four, one, three, um, eight, six, four, three. And that is Slow Thermo by Clover. Um, I'm still Bill. If this is your first introduction to Thermo, I hope it was you know, kind, gentle, lovely. Um, oh, pardon me. With that, um, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day slash wherever you are in the time zone. I think I'm still a bit croaky from last night. Uh, I was screaming my lungs out. It was delightful. Um, and yeah, uh, I will catch you all on the flip side. Uh, I never know how to end these videos. Uh, cheers.